This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of placing a composite bandage on a fractured central incisor. On the screen you can see a selection of materials and instruments that you may find useful in undertaking this procedure. In this video we can see that the previous pulpotomy undertaken has been covered with glass ionomer. It is now time to place a restoration that covers the exposed dentine and enamel. It is important that we achieve good moisture control when undertaking this procedure. Rubber dam is ideal for this. Etch the enamel and dentine to be covered by composite. This should be done for 20 seconds. Thoroughly rinse off the etch for 15 to 20 seconds. Dry the tooth and observe frosting. Apply bond to the exposed tooth surface. Allow this to soak into the tooth for 20 to 30 seconds, then air thin. Light cure the bond. Roll out a strip of composite filling material and apply this to the tooth. Alternatively, you can use a composite carrier to deliver the composite directly onto the tooth. Gently shape the composite using a flat plastic to cover any exposed denting. Ensure that the composite is smoothly formed over the enamel circumscribing the fracture.
like cure the composite. Once you are happy that you have performed a suitable composite bandage, remove the rubber dam and assess. It is important that your composite bandage does not interfere with occlusion. Use articulating paper to check both static and dynamic occlusions. Finally, floss your contacts to ensure that no bond has become stuck in. The definitive restoration of this tooth will be covered in a separate video.